at Chi 105. It's our lunchtime bistro. Another little gem from our archive. Not too old though. Alexandra Burke and Hallelujah. I did promise you that she'd pop in for a bit of a chat with us today. I'm delighted to say she's just arrived. Alexandra, lovely to oh, see you. Oh, good to see you too, uh, Look my at dear. that beautiful smile as well. She just <laughs> came in here and lit up the room oh, um, as a superstar you. does. Do you know what? Our listeners are trying to figure out how to get the lid off a tin of paint. Now, this has been going on for about oh, 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Right, so any tips? Uh, I would say get a knife um, and obviously be very careful with it, yeah, you know, um, um, and kind of just uh, put the knife underneath the lid a little bit and pop it pop open. Pop it open, you see? Yeah. We've been trying this. This person has even tried a chisel, a hammer, a screwdriver. Oh, they're not trying right. They know. need to come down here and yeah. let me show them how it's done. Do you do a wee bit of DIY at all? I, I used to do a bit of DIY oh, did back you? in the day, yeah. Did you, did you used to paint your own room and Yeah, all? when my mum used to tell me, come on, Alex, let's go paint and like the house and stuff. I used to do it So you be good at it? It used to be fun, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. good. So you don't do that now. I suppose you've got people who do that for you. Um, uh, you, just the, snap, the, you just snap your fingers and no, go, paint no, my room. No, not necessarily. I, I, uh, I, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Here, girl, how's life? How's things going? Life is absolutely splendid. It's uh, it's it's great. I'm smiling from cheek to cheek. I mean, yeah. ear to ear, sorry. But um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. You know, you just seem to have gone like just, I mean, seriously, you're at the top of your game now. Oh, you're only what, you. early 20s. I'm 22. 22. Yeah. My goodness. Do you know, like a lot of artists would take forever to get, a lifetime to get to where you're at right now. Oh, wow. Um, you've got there so quickly has it been difficult to cope with um it's been overwhelming to say the very least uh, i think i'm i'm still very much overwhelmed by everything that goes on in my life uh you know two years on from winning the show but it's great i like that feeling it makes me you know really real hungry to to achieve more to work harder to continue just to keep this blessing going you know i'm, I'm a very very lucky girl i really do have my fans to thank and i have a great support system the team that i work with and and my family and friends, you know, I couldn't be in a better place right now. And you, you're obviously very appreciative and you know, one of those people still wakes up every morning and says, I'm so happy Absolutely, and thankful. Absolutely, of course, yeah. because I know for a fact that, uh, you know, this world that I live in, it can all be taken away in a second. Mm. So people have to always give thanks no matter yes. what the situation is. But you have had a lot of fun. I, I was looking I at, I was looking back over some of the stuff just to see what you were at, just to yeah. remind myself. Because uh-huh. things happen so quickly and that collaboration that you did with Beyonce, yeah. um, that was definitely the best collaboration oh, of all. But, thank I mean, you. sure that's not the first time you've heard that. I mean, it really was brilliant. A just lot of people have, 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 have said that and it's a great thing to hear. Yeah, it really, really is because for me, it was uh, still to this day when I watch it, you know, it's not big news, but I cry. Oh, you <laughs> I'm just, always crying. Yeah. Always crying when I watch it back. But and I'm like that too. I cry at the I'm drop of I'm telling you, you know, for someone to sing with someone who they really do look up to and it, I call Beyonce one of my heroes yes. and it was amazing to, to be able to do be that. in her presence. Yeah. Well, would you, con- when, is it ever going to be like, will you work with her? Are you ever going to get Who there? knows? I say watch this space. You never know what the world will bring my way and if I get to work with her again, that'd be an absolute blessing. Well, who else would you love to collaborate with? If I'm completely honest, oh my goodness, um, it'd be the the people that I have always admired: Aretha, Gladys Knight. Well, it's not. I if mean, I, that's doable, isn't if, it? I mean, it is doable. I'm yeah. putting it out there to the universe yeah. here. <laughs> you know, they they are the people who have. Uh, you know, it really, really inspired me to continue going. And still to this day, you know, I listened to Respect last night and still learnt things off of Aretha. Yeah. And I've listened to that song a thousand times. So, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're legends. And I'd love to do something with Stevie Wonder. Oh Can my I gosh. ask you, how are you, are you being received in the States? When are things going there for well, you? Well, I haven't actually started promotion in the States. That's for the second album. So ah, we'll see right. how that so goes. Fingers that. crossed. Yeah. Well, I'm just sort of thinking about Cheryl. I mean, they were given off that they couldn't understand what she was saying. And your right. voice is really clear. You don't have an accent as such. Right. You know, that you wouldn't understand. I mean, you're really clear but can you see that people maybe have struggled with the the accent you know i don't i i don't know what to believe what's what's been in these papers and stuff i never know what to believe and if it's if that's the case i i can't really believe that because i everyone understands her so Mm. who knows what it is i mean uh, do you keep in touch with Cheryl? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so has she she hasn't come, rang you and went, help me. N- uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's she going to do? Then what happens with her next? Do you think? I, I don't know. Who knows if this if the situation is even true? I think, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we all cannot believe what we read, yeah. and like that's as far as I can go with commenting yeah. on that because I just don't know what is true and what isn't well, true. That's you know? true. Well, t- is this true? I've got this. Alexander Burke has been offered the job of playing Diva Whitney Houston. I'm sure you've seen this. And um, the bodyguard version on the West End. Have you been offered this? Um, it's it's been a discussion, um, but at the moment I'm uh, concentrating on making my second album. Right, you want to get that sort of yeah, difficult absolutely. to do both of those, wouldn't it? Well, you know what? It, it's 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 it'd be a challenge yeah. for, for you know to say the least it'd you strike me as the sort of girl that would pick up that challenge as well you fill well, in a lot in a day don't you 
<laughs> you do like I mean, you, do you know, know what? Like, the, the, what I put in my day of 24 hours I, I, I tell you something if people would should be able to do that in 48 I stick it in in 24 mm. less than 24 to be fair right well what, what is it what's your secret how do you keep going um you know what happiness really keeps me going I know it's really cliche to say, to say that but you know if you're not happy in your job my goodness you'd be depressed if you do what I do I'm very very happy and the people around me that I keep around me as well that work with me they are my backbones you're making me happy just talking to oh, you I'm, I'm not good. kidding you're trubbing off amazing right live at, live at the beach is on the 25th of June yes what it is what can people expect we're giving away tickets on the show well, as well well the wanted are performing the Saturdays mm. are performing too it's going to be an absolute amazing amazing gig and hopefully the weather's going to be fantastic and um, you know I can't wait for it I just want it to hurry up and, and be here like tomorrow I'd say bring on the beach yeah are you going to be playing tunes from the new album from it on it on uh, your tour I can't give that away because who knows yet but right. uh, if all goes according to plan, you never know. I may be performing my first single there. Oh, wow. You that never would be know. great. Well, there you go, folks. There's something for you to look, you look out for. We had a meet and greet earlier with them. Um, was it Becca um, you were talking to earlier? Was, was it um, a couple of girls that you were chatting just to? Just outside, yes. You have just, I'm trying to find out her, get her name right. Becca O'Hare is the name of the girl that you met. Um, she, oh, you, they're right you, behind you us. You have made their day. Oh, I'm amazing. telling you. I was just talking to them about their GCSE, so I wish you girls the best of luck. Yeah. Do you know whenever you're a teenager and you meet your idol? I mean, that, that's where they're Aww, at. And you were cute. saying that about Beyonce. They're yeah. just looking at you for inspiration. So um, that's brilliant. Oh, gosh, that gets me very, very shy. I'm very, uh, I'm grateful for that. Thank you, girls. Alexandra, it's a delight to have you here. Thank you very I much. I know that you're busy, but thanks a Thank million for you, popping darling. in to see us. Cheers. Cheers. Alexandra Burke, you're going to catch her live at the beach on the 25th of June, along with The Wanted and the Saturdays. If you'd like to win tickets to go see her, I suggest you stick around. I'll tell you how you can do that. But here's a taster of what you can expect on the 25th. On 105.8 FM, Freeview Channel 726. And on your Android and your iPhone, this is U105.